Hey, what's up? Brian here. I'm going to tell you about some updates to uh, one of our more popular extensions that we've released to the Directus Labs program, the Super Header. So the Super Header is um, basically a powerful header component that gives you a couple different pieces inside one box. Uh, so you get a uh, a, a title that uses dynamic values, you get a subtitle, so you can add things like published and you know additional metadata, you get contextual help, and you get an action bar where you can add links or you can run flows uh, right from the form instead of opening in the right sidebar. Uh, so this has been pretty popular since we launched it, but we also got a slew of feedback from you guys. So keep the feedback coming, love it. Uh, we have fixed uh, uh, quite a few of the bugs that are, were happening on opening different modal windows within modals. Uh, so that is resolved. And let's take a look at the new functionality. So one of the pieces that is brand new is the ability to open the help content in a modal instead of inline um, as a, like an accordion type experience. Um, for me, I think this is a better experience, but we still support the inline help if you prefer that as well. Um, next, we have fixed some of the issues with uh, like loading internal links. So you can see here, I can open this up in the visual editor. Um, that does not have to spin up the app or open in a new window. So we've solved that. Um, and then when opening flows or running flows, now we have the capability to uh, properly manage the overlay so that if you open something else inside your flow, which you can do, let's take a look at this, where we want to pick up the directus users, this is no longer showing behind that. So uh, just quality of life improvements. Now, uh, onto the two biggest improvements, right? The ability to translate the help content, which was a huge one for uh, anybody outside the US. And uh, initially I wasn't super sure there was an easy way to get the, this done, but we managed to do that. So here is how you enable translation support within the super header. So we're here inside the data model, we go into our interface and we scroll down and now we have this enable help translations. So the help translations here, this uses the custom translation strings, and you'll have to set these up just like you would anywhere else um, that you're leveraging those for fields. And what this will do, whatever you set for these translation strings will override whatever the, the help content is here. So let's just take a look at what that experience looks like. I'm gonna go in, and if I look at my custom translations, you can see I've got two different values for this key. I've got one in English, uh, and this is just HTML content. That still works just fine. And then I have the same thing in French. So now we go to the home page, we can see, okay, this is English. If I go to my specific user, we just change the default language to French. And we go back, you know, so we see some of this content uh, obviously it doesn't have translation strings set up for it, but if we load our help, now we've got that help content localized for our user. Um, so that just works out of the box with the standard setup. Now I'll go back in, just quickly set this back. And then the last piece of the puzzle is relational item support. So. When we first launched this, we could not um, fetch relationships. Now you can. So if you have uh, like a site set up where I've got a site that this belongs to, we want to show the name of the site or even inside like our actions where we want to leverage a, uh, a domain from another collection or a field from a many to one relationship, we can do that now, which is great. Um, I know some of you have multi-tenant setups and this enables that workflow. So now I can go in, I can see the site name. This is linked to Brian's site if we open that up or Brian's front end. And then if I hit view on website, that will load that link for me. So 
that is the update for the superheader. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, super powerful.